Hey you guys, it's Kate Richburg live from Beat and Button 2017. So as I mosey along the floor, I've come across a classroom and I want to give you a sneak peek just to how classrooms and stuff are set up here at Beat and Button. So let me turn this and you guys can see just out here, we're going to take a look at Discover Torch and Amling Celebration Charm Bracelet with noted instructor Stephen James. So I'm going to kind of lurk back here. You guys can see how the classrooms are actually set up. This has a really big open floor plan. And it looks like all the ladies are in here making some awesome um, enameled work right here. And there's the master himself, Stephen James. But let's take a look and see. He's got some of his class samples here and also his book. We saw that earlier in the marketplace, Discover Torch Enameling by Stephen James. But we can see some of his class samples here. Those of you who are local to the Bay Area, um, Stephen is also teaching at the Babe Show, the Bay Area Bead Extravaganza. Um, but you can see this. Oh, and look who's here. Hey, hey, Stephen James. How are you? Come a little closer so that everyone, everyone. Oh, well, you've got, oh, you bought one of my buttons. Oh, you're super sweet. You're cute as a button too. How are you? Everybody, this is Stephen James, Stephen James of Discover Torch Enameling fame. That's right, that's your book. Shay Shay. You're getting Stephen, my favorite enameler from Krista Goddard. Oh, hi, my dear. How are you? <laughs> Everyone is loving you. I have a s'mores I'm here with your name on it. That is so awesome. This is my class today. Yeah. Um, we are, what are we making today? So does your charm bracelet, but um, it's really all about exploring lots of different techniques. We yeah. Have about 30 different techniques in this particular class. 30? 3 0. 30. Yeah. 30. 30. You're uh, working with paint. What? Oh my gosh. Do you guys, ladies, do you mind if I come around and take a quick look? If you don't mind. It'd be so great. Wow. <laughs> All right, you guys, look at this. Oh, right. I know, right. <laughs> I know, I'm a quencher. Look, Sue, these are your pieces. Are. Do you mind if I share them with everybody oh, who's watching? <laughs> so this is Sue, one of our students, or one of Stephen's students, but she was one of my students earlier this week. Exactly. Look at that, you guys. So you're making 30, 31 different charms. You guys, this is amazing. Oh, I'm going to look at them. Oh, great. Let's take a look at all the techniques that this class is learning today. Look at this. So these are all of the pieces that everyone's learning in class. That's so amazing. Stephen James. My personal favorite, Stephen I. That's so great. Oh, my gosh. I love it. Stephen, which one is your favorite here? Um, you know what? I, I'm going to have to say probably the salt, the salt enamel. enamel. But yeah. it's... it's uh, I love salt and enamel. I also love... The bubble and I, uh, the H2O. Those are two techniques that I developed, and uh, um, I think that they're super fun. They're both in the book, mm -hmm. um, and I, I think it's so, they're so unique. Mm -hmm. um, you don't if you're a designer and you're like, how in the world am I going to appeal to other people? This is a great way to mm -hmm. uh, get your stuff to kind of set it apart. From and, the stuff that's out there. and you're really working like with a small space, right? You don't have to have a big space to no, enamel. No, no, not at all. Like if we can see, this right is, here. yeah, this is the setup right here, you guys. Just a simple setup. You've got, that looks like a pizza tray. It is a pizza tray. You are so clever. Thank you. And you know, if it, we could also put it on a Lazy Susan to be able to turn it around. Oh, smart. And be able to smart. do some fun stuff too. But of course, I left my Lazy Susan at home. At home. Someone but, says that Stephen passes out as your fave, is her fave. Oh, passes out. That's where, oh God, yeah. That's um, it's the Holy Festival pendant, um, and it's a project that's also on my website. Uh huh. What's uh, your website, Stephen? Give yourself a shout out. That's right. That's right. You can find you there. Macaroniglitter.com. You know what else is my favorite too? Because I just created it a couple months ago. This um, fairy dust. It's actually um, precious metal clay. Now, if you can't take a class with me, you can go on um, 
online or to um, uh, you can uh, search for this project as well. But it's a ring project. Really? And so yeah. So we embed it into a ring blank. That's um, so great. Yeah. So super fun. I'm going to keep moving around then. Moving I'm going to keep the, moving. People are getting really creative. And we have Christina, who's um, Chris, rather. She's doing... Um, oh, can we see that, Chris? Do you mind? Pixie dust. Oh, look at that. So you've pixie dusted it, and now you're polishing it with a brass fairy brush. Pixie well, pixie fairy. pixie fairy. They're all They're like all little sprites. Related. Oh, that's beautiful. All related. And Stephen, what's the base on these? Just t copper? Uh, copper blanks? Copper blank, and then got your enamel. Oh yeah, I see some there. Do you mind if I pan in there? Oh, those are great. Those just copper blanks, little half-inch blanks. Those are fantastic. So people are really exploring a lot of different techniques. Yeah. Too. Yeah. And I think, um, I'm assuming everyone's finding one that's favorite. Like a fave, right? Like a fave, I, right? Like I like this one so much, yeah. And so I'll be and the finished product, we're going to maybe put them on a charm bracelet, maybe? They might put it on a charm bracelet. We talked a lot about that today. Um, it, uh, a lariat might be really cute. It would be, with, and, like, charms dangling from the lariat. Know, I remember a long time ago that I, when I first met you, I, started, <laughs> I made we that started, lariat. One of my very first You projects did. Your very first project. I'm going to turn this around so, so we're together. One of my very first projects with you was a um, fancy pants lariat that it you was. could change up. That's so right. I'm all about lariats. Yes, that's right. Um, and so I'm, we were talking about what would this look like if they were all dangling down chain. Right, luscious. You know, like, yes, lush. Well, lush. Just lushed up. 31 chain. 31 lush. 31 lush. Oh, I'm going to turn this back around. Just all right. Lush. <laughs> lush, lush, lush. Which I plan to be later on. <laughs> this is my seventh or eighth class. Eighth. Eighth. Too bad. Wow. Too bad. Nope, tomorrow's uh, Raku. Oh, that's my, that's your big one. Right, and you don't have any Raku samples, do I you? I don't have any Raku samples. Mm -mm. The class is sold out, so you couldn't even get any. No, but it's uh, super exciting. But I gave you a plug for Babe oh, thank because you. you're yeah. going to be. Yeah, get to the Babe show because uh, that's a super fun one. Yeah. Raku's in the book, too. So yeah, it is. You can take it with me or you can. Just get the book. Light things up at your, on your own at home. Well, ladies, okay. thanks for letting me invade your class. Stephen, thanks for letting me invade you your class. I say, I'm in a little. I'm leaving later today. Okay, well, I'll see you back in. Yeah, in in the San Francisco San town. Francisco. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you, guys. Bead shop. Thanks you. All righty. Let me turn this back around here. Wasn't that cool? Steven's cool class. There he goes, teaching away. It's pretty awesome. All right, you guys. Uh, I'm gonna make my way across the show. Uh, and uh, I'll come back with, uh, I think I've got a couple of other surprises for you, I think, before I have to check my plane reservation or, or get to the airport. So I'll see you guys soon. Kate from Beat and Button, out. See you later.